last tidbit as to why it is so important for you to 10x your income in the next seven years or less okay this 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 has to resonate with you all right it's extremely important that you get this i was having a conversation with a gentleman i believe was 51 years old according to the words out of this gentleman he described himself as average and simple okay i'm gonna let you know right off the bat i do not resonate with the word average with the word simple when describing denzel napoleon rodriguez i do not resonate with that why i just got done telling you about the levels of authority and how unique and authentic that you are and that there will never be and that there will never there never was and there never will be another one of you so how can you possibly be average based on those facts alone those universal facts how can you possibly be average anyways I was talking to this gentleman 51 years old makes good money has a good career right cool simple guy his strategy is simply to save and invest in etfs index funds then when he is 59 to 65 this was his range that he'll be quote unquote financial free financial freedom quote unquote according to his numbers so we broke it down i said okay interesting so you're going to save money in a bank account earning less than one percent okay so you're earning nothing and you're going to invest your money in etfs index funds via your 401k and roth ira that's it that's all he's got 401k roth ira right mind you this person does not make over 100 grand a year it's under 100 grand so he's got what 10 years roughly to achieve the dream that he wants currently his combined assets including or not including the mortgage he's got a i think around 400k built up according to his numbers in this time frame with his investing strategy and saving strategy he will accumulate on the low end anywhere from two to three million dollars okay comment if two to three million dollars is a lot of money around this age let me know if that's a lot of money right let me know your thoughts yes a lot of money no not enough money it's not that it's not a lot of money it's not enough money but you let me know you be the judge so anyway he's going to acquire anywhere from two to three million dollars with his strategy all right now there's a little crack in the system that i was revealing to him that he was not accounting for all right and that crack in the system is called taxes and there's really three components to it there's taxes inflation and devaluation okay taxes inflation devaluation these are the three numbers three things he was not accounting for in his strategy so let's run it he wants to be average and simple he makes under 100k a year so he lives you know relatively below his means two to three million dollars is what he will live off of okay and his strategy is you know as soon as he amounts that amount of money you're you know you're supposed to do uh, a four percent withdrawal to live off of so three million that's a hundred twenty thousand a year more than what he makes currently 10 years from now so he'll, he'll be able to withdraw a hundred twenty thousand a year at four percent right that's the standard and you live off of that right the problem is not accounting for taxes inflation and devaluation but let's not even include that just yet let's say his cost of living is 70 grand a year right so 120 minus 70 you're left with 50 right fifty thousand dollars divided by 12 he would have a free cash flow of 4100 bucks per month not bad right not bad at all okay now 
this is perfect in an average simple world but we don't live in an average simple world we live in a very chaotic world a fast moving world a world where there is taxes inflation and devaluation okay so if my cost of living today is seventy thousand dollars i guarantee you 10 years from now your cost of living is going to go nowhere but up on the low end just looking at inflation today take the 70 grand times that by seven percent that's four thousand nine hundred dollars so four thousand nine hundred plus seventy thousand in just one year your cost of living went up four to five thousand dollars that's what that means and then it compounds itself so you can imagine 4900 two years three years four years five years six years seven years oh, we're at seven years my cost of living is over 100 grand already what is that doing to my cash flow ladies and gentlemen it's abusing it that's just inflation alone we're not even including taxes now because this gentleman decided to be average and simple he accumulated two to three million dollars and i use the high number three million dollars because he accumulated it in his name you are taxed at the highest bracket okay if you're in california take 50 percent off the top at least okay it's probably more right so let's just say 40 percent $3 million times 40% off the top. Over a period of withdrawing money, you'll pay $1.2 million in taxes, right? So $3 million minus $1.2 million, you're left with $1.8 net, okay? So 40% went to taxes. Your cost of living, average person's cost of living nowadays is like 40% of what they make. What are you left with, right? So 40% is your cost of living, 720. So 1.8 minus 720 this is being conservative. Now you're left with a mill. How long can this money possibly last you? Even if it's growing at a rate of return of four to 6% or even 8%. When you tack in this, see the issue? Do you guys see this? This is the issue with the strategy that you've been taught, that I've been taught to save your money, invest in, in someone else's mission, in someone else's vision, invest in the stock market, hope and pray, the money will be there. And then I said, here's the last ingredient that you're missing, my friend, losses, right? What if you get higher than your goal? Say you get 3.5 million by age 60, 60 years old, you, accum you accumulate 3.5 million between your Roth and your 401k. Good for you. Wow, that's awesome. So you retire in at age 60. And you got 3.5 mil. 3.5 mil times 4% is 140,000. Okay, so you're going to withdraw 140, right? At age 60, that's what you're going to live off of throughout the year. Cost of living has gone up, right? So let's say, eh, be conservative. Say the cost of living now is 90 grand. You're still, what, net 50K positive. So same number, 4,100 at least in cash flow per month, okay? Now, what happens when 08 happens again? When the real estate market crashes? When the stock market crashes in 07, 08? What happens when another pandemic goes breaks out? Like, like what happened in 2020? What happens when the market corrects and goes down that year? So you withdraw... 140k so 3.5 minus 140,000 is 3.36 right and then the market drops 25% so you lose 840k so it goes from 3.36 million and in just one year you lose 25% so now you're at 2.5 mil and then the market rebounds and it grows 10%. So it finishes off the year 10%.
You lost 25, but you made 10. You, you're still in the negative, right? 2.5, 2 0, right? So you're at 2.772 mil. And then in, in one year, times 4%, uh oh, cost of living probably went up five grand. And withdrawing 4%, now you can't withdraw 140. You do 110. Or if you did kept it at 140 because that was your desired number that you wanted to live off comfortably, average and simple, look at your issue. You minus 140 from 2.772 mil. Even if you grew positive 15% that next year, you're still negative. Do you see that? And then I didn't, even, I didn't even throw in the other kicker that I said to this gentleman. I said, there's one more thing you're missing. And he's like, dude, what do you mean? I thought <laughs> taxes, inflation, devaluation. I thought that that already was enough for me. And then you threw in the losses. I said, dude, I'm not done yet. There's one more thing that you're forgetting. This pretty little word right here, fees. I said, my friend, in your little cute little Roth in your 401k, you're paying anywhere from one to 3% in annual fees on the total amount of money that is in there. So let's say you're paying 2%. In annual fees, 3.5 mil times 2%, $70,000 went towards fees. The reason why you don't see it is because you're being told you're earning 8% rate of return, right? So 3.5 million times 8% is 280 grand, right? So you, you earn 280, but you had to pay the 70 grand in fees, right? 2%. So your actual internal rate of return is less than 8%. You think you're getting an average rate of return of eight because you're an average person. So you're simple. You want to keep things simple and average. I'm telling you right now for my people watching 45 and up, it is not going to work. You're going to hit this age 59 and you're going to call cousin D who's cousin D that's me. You've been listening to grandpa Dave Ramsey from age 25 to 50. You came across Uncle G, Grant Cardone, but he turned you off because he curses a lot and he's like, you know, I, you know, does all this stuff and he doesn't align with your spirit. But then Cousin D came along, right? Who's in the kingdom and I'm taking the best of both worlds and I'm purifying it in righteousness with the authority that I've been authorized to conduct myself because my author is my manufacturer, my creator of all things who operates outside of space, time and matter that created space, time and matter and has given me authority. I have authorization and I authentically deliver this message to you to say, hey, if you are over the age of 45 and average is your strategy to financial wealth and simple mindedness you will not make it let me make that very very clear you will not make it it is going to be very painful to hit 59 65 70 years old you think you're good you got 2 million 2.5 3 million built up in your retirement accounts and i just broke the math down for you it is not enough it will run out within 15 years. So if you retire by the age of 60, 65, and you got 3 million, and your average cost of living is between 70 and 90 grand a year, and gradually increasing over those same years, and taxes gradually increasing, and inflation going up, and devaluation of the cur currency, the diminishing the value of the dollar, plus losses in the account, plus fees. That's a lot to account for, my friend. That's a lot to account for, to hope and pray that 3 million is gonna be enough. And then you're 65, you retire and you pull out 140, okay, cool, 150, okay, cool, 250, okay, cool. This is nice. Fast forward 15 years, you're 75 years old, you're 80 years old, and there's nothing left in the retirement account. You burned it. The issue was you chased net worth over cash flow. Your number one concern in the 21st century today regarding money, 
not talking about your spirit, not talking about your marriage, not talking about your kids. I'm talking about your finances, okay? Regarding finance, your number one concern, your number one goal, okay? Is this beautiful word right here. You need to focus on cash flow. Why? Let's illustrate it. Let me show you why. Check this out. This is gonna blow you away. Hopefully you're taking notes. Let's say, instead of investing in your ETFs and your Roth IRA and your, and your REITs and your TSPs and your wannabes and all this stuff, right? Let's say you put all that to the side and you said, I'm going to 10X my income. Let's say you make under hundred grand a year. You make under hundred K a year. What's 10X? One mil, right? Let's say you fail miserably in those seven years. You only get halfway there. So you're only making 500 K a year. That 500 K came from building a business. So let's just say that by building a business over a seven year period or less, you create an income stream of a half a million dollars flat and your cost of living personally, business expenses, operations, taxes, investing, everything, right? Cost you 300 K a year. So you net 200,000 a year in free cash flow. So let's do the math. 200,000 a year divided by 12, 16,000, right? So let's, let's lowball it. And let's just say 16 K cash flow per month, seven years. The goal was one mil. You failed miserably. You got 50% of the way there. You're making 500 K a year. It costs you 300 K to run your business taxes, inflation, divide, everything's already included, right? And you net 200. So you cash flow 16 grand a month. My question to you, comment below, which would you rather have 500 K in income through a business, right? 500 K coming in netting two, or would you rather have $3.5 million? Which is more, which is more. Here's the issue. The number 3.5 million is more than 500,000. But see this 500,000 receives less taxes on the money. So it goes from a 40% rate to say 15% or lower, possibly 10% or lower, depending on what state you're in. So there's that. I'm able to stay ahead of inflation. No longer affects me. I don't have to worry about devaluation because I have cash flow that super exceeds my cost of living by more than two, three X. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about losses per se. And I don't have to worry about fees. When I say losses per se, what I mean is because you are in control, get it? You have authority. The likelihood of you producing and passively producing half a million dollars because you're walking in your authority, authentically authorized by your author, uh oh, that you now have the freedom to dominate over the things that used to bind you and suppress you. So I broke this down with this individual I was speaking with. Now, because I'm young, right? 26 years old. I got one gray hair, like one or two right here. So I'm not that old yet. Not a lot of experience, right? So the issue is that it's hard to believe when a child in your eyes, I'm a child, right? You're 55, you're 65, you're 45. I could be your son for many, many of you. You're like, this could be my kid. What does he know? I don't know anything. Okay. I receive wisdom from my author. That's it. So look past me and look at the author is what I'm telling you. Because if you do not receive what is being given to you through his child, okay, the author, we're all sons and daughters of the almighty father. I am allowing, I am authorizing, I am surrendering to the Holy Spirit, 
which speaks through my vocal cords into your heart and you receive it through your ears and then it lands into your conscious mind eventually goes to your subconscious mind of which that point maybe you start to believe it so whether it's me or somebody else i encourage you do not go the average simple route you're going to be devastated you're going to be wiped out it's going to be painful because when you're 59 when you're 65 when you're 75 you're not going to have the same energy that you had when you were 45 when you were 35 when you were 30 when you were 40 42 39 47 you're not going to have the same energy unless you took care of yourself really well you know maybe you're one you're like arnold schwarzenegger right you're you're just like an animal you take really good care of your body so maybe you do have the energy but even if you have the energy will you have the wisdom to listen or are you going to be too old to teach that dog new tricks uh-oh uh-oh so even if you did have the energy and the muscles and the strength to do it all over again will you have the discernment to close your mouth and allow your two ears to do the work for you right will you get to that point i don't know this is just my warning to you because i'm working with a lot of people who are double triple my age and they're like denzel i'm 55 i'm 59 i'm 65 i did everything right and i don't have enough i don't even have enough to be average it, do you see that right am i am i landing on someone right here all right so let's see let me look at some questions here it's, okay prince could you describe what the life cycle looks like for someone who joins the program from onboarding to continuous growth hey prince why don't i i encourage you give me your testimony this is the same prince i'm thinking of what is your testimony working with me working with uh, uh steve and um i think alex as well if i'm not mistaken what has your experience been see because i'm authorized and i authorize you to give me your testimony along with many others i now have others speaking on my behalf okay so don't let me just do the selling right i i want to know the people who have gone through the one-to-one -one. i think i saw pearl in the house candy um people who are one-to-one -one, you're here you're listening or maybe you catch the replay drop your testimony let people know hey i went i enrolled with denzel yep his main intent was help me get debt free i came to the table wanting to become debt free then i started learning about debt leveraging and the power of debt leveraging and how i can you know multiply my money and then i took on the mindset of 10x i was like you know what this is gonna go too slow i make 80 90 100 grand a year i make 70 grand I make 60 grand I make 50 grand a year how do I go from 50 to 500? How do I go from 70 to 700? How do I go from 100K to 1 million in seven years or less, right? How do I do that? Even if it takes me longer, I promise you, you won't be upset, right? So let, let me know, Prince, like, what what is it? Because I know you went through it. Let's see, uh, Odell, I use Velocity Banking, only have debt with my home. I own three properties as well. What do you suggest I do? Should I pay off property using Velocity? or another method my question would be are the three properties let me put the question back up are the three properties producing cash flow positive if so in my finances if i was in your shoes knowing everything that i know now i would not see the value in paying off those three properties if it's producing positive cash flow i can take tax deductions appreciation depreciation a lot of cool strategies i can i can do with those properties so that's how i look at it if the properties are liabilities maybe i might want to consider selling maybe i want to get out of it maybe it, maybe it's a headache a bad tenant um bad experience poor management maybe i want to get out of it right and release that or if you're just hell bent on being debt free then we run the numbers that's it run the yeah yes run the numbers velocity banking see which one is the most effective one to pay down and keep going from there yep david says nope nope not enough money yep carry not enough nope not enough money increased price in consumer goods inflation emergencies yep i don't want to take too much of your time you know me i sometimes i go for like two and a half hours long you guys are hanging out here but i just wanted to be so 
like go hard on this right here. Do not settle for average or simple. Regain your authority. Become debt free or debt leveraged. 10x your income in seven years or less. And help help me help you expand the kingdom in the ministry. And we do a lot of cool work together.